some of that inconsistency that we've talked about for the last couple of games crept into that third period. What, can you put your finger on why that occurs? Uh, some of it is uh, just not knowing any better. I think we have to have a better uh, awareness of when the other team's ramping things up. Uh, they got that first goal and started to see how far they could push us. And I think we have to recognize there and simplify our game, get pucks deep, uh, get momentum back on our side uh, before it gets a little out of hand, which it felt like there once it got to 6-3. Is some of that just a natural let up when you've got a 5 nothing lead? And, and, and if so, how do you fight against it? Well, we talked about playing simple. We, you know, we talked about playing as if it was a tie game and, and staying with it. I think it's a much harder thing mentally to do, sometimes focus-wise, uh, easier said than done. But, uh, you know, we obviously have a lot of growing to do. Uh, some great lessons in that game. Uh, you know, we're a young team. Uh, we're, we're, we're sort of learning as we go here, and, and one of our issues is we're uh, getting everybody's best game right now. They see where we are in the standings. And so we're trying to learn in that environment. And it's uh, sometimes you you get behind the eight ball and you and you lose a little momentum like we did there in the third for a bit. Brad, did the see change of the defenseman after the first period seemed to work for you guys? Uh, obviously a great second period. What, were, what was your thinking there? I just found that uh, they were loading up. Uh, the, the Kreider line was Stepan and Zuccarello. Um, you know, against Harrington and Prout. So we split them up and sort of uh, leveled things off a little bit. And, uh, you know, I think the two goals on the four on four really, really gave us a good boost there. It's uh, some, some, you know, lots of open ice. Jack Johnson makes a great play on the one and then you get a fortunate bounce out of a glove for a rebound on another. But, you know, we put pucks to the net and we, and we play it aggressively through those four on fours. Right, goaltender uh, making the big saves early in that first period on that barrage. I mean, five or six good opportunities for the Rangers at that point. Yeah, on the PK, I, I thought we s slowed a couple passes down just enough for them to hammer them one time or so. Yeah, Corpy was fantastic first five minutes. I thought he gave us a chance to sort of get our, get our bearings and, and, and get our focus and then go to work. But you, you sort of touched on it, but the idea that this is a team that's now facing a little bit of, facing the heat, you know, facing the pressure. Is, how, are you, how significantly different is it from what you guys were facing earlier? And, you know, do you, there's some experienced guys in there, but is this sort of like the part of the season where, the, you know, a younger team has to get through? Well, I, I think when you're near the top of the standings, it's a different feel. I think you, 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 you aren't sneaking up on other teams. I think teams sort of looked at us and maybe looked past us uh, early on in this season. You know, we were supposed to be a lottery team. Uh, this, that, and everything else was said about us, and I think guys play with a little bit of a chip on their shoulder, and uh, came out to prove prove some of the pundits wrong. I think we did a great job with that. I think the next stage now is to learn how to play with the additional expectation and pressure that comes with where you are in the standings, and that sometimes is a bumpy road. You saw, you know, quite a big speed bump in the third tonight. Awesome that we get the two points. Uh, hopefully, we learn our lessons and we're a little better next time we get to that situation.